Master Ken here, 11th degree black belt in Ameridote, the most powerful martial arts system in the world. And today we're here with Greg Jackson from the world famous MMA gym, Jackson's gym, and Julie Ketsey, professional MMA fighter. And today, we're gonna teach him how to fight. Well, Master Ken, we, we kind of already know how to fight. You know, we, we do train fighters like George St. Pierre, Carlos Condit, John Jones. So I'm always looking for an edge. You know, can we get these guys just that much better than our competition in the cage? Right. Well, I've never heard of any of those guys, but uh, let me revise my statement. Today, we're here to teach you how to fight for real. Fair enough. All right. So before I teach you the power of a Maradote, I'm gonna to have to unteach you all the bad habits that you've learned in the world of MMA. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of your basic MMA moves, throw a punch out here, and we're gonna do all your moves that you ever learned in reverse, okay? Take the punch, pull it back. Punch, pull it back, okay? Put the punch out there, just pull it back. Every time we're pulling it back, we're deleting it. We're deleting the bad information, deleting the bad habits. Delete, 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 delete. Now we're gonna to go to the groin grab, okay? Take those claws, invert them. Reach forward, grab the groin, pull it back. Make sure to squeeze. That's the way it works, okay? Don't just put it there, squeeze. Meet the groin, shake its hand, take it home. All right, to wrap up this private lesson, I'm gonna teach you what is probably the most street lethal technique in all of Maradote. So if you're gonna use it, Use it wisely. This move is called the hurricane. Uh, master, master Ken, master Ken, master Ken. <laughs> Master Ken, Master Ken. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that that is actually going to work for mixed martial arts competition. Most of the stuff is illegal, to say the least. And uh, I don't want to use the term ineffective, but it might not be the best option for us at this time. I see. You think... Uh think this is all bullshit. Well, there's only one way to find out. Why don't we uh, get your lady fighter here out on the floor with one of my senior students and uh, have a little friendly uh, sparring match. That sounds like an excellent idea. Julie, you down for it? Bring it on. Billy! <sighs> okay. This guy's gonna come out a little unorthodox, so let's establish a jab first, take it to your power shots, go back and forth a little bit, get a good jab going, really see where he's gonna go. We'll probably do some crazy stuff, and then lower the boom and take him out. Yes, sir. Groin grab, straight up. Go get him, her. Billy, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Julie, are you ready? Yep. Begin. Defend! Defend! All right, all right, that's enough. That's enough. Tell you what, Mr. Jackson, we're gonna call this fight a draw. So if he had actually grabbed her groin in the beginning, this would have been over a long time ago. Here. He's not gonna let go. He ne Billy never lets go of anything once he grabs hold of it. 
just just be careful and hold still. Okay, I've only I've only done this with hair.